Hi students, this video is going to be focused on creating a story map of your CV, resume, or portfolio. I'm also going to show you a few other resources you can use to potentially showcase your work either from this class or other classes that you want to share with people, potential employers, maybe friends or family members you want to see what you've been doing with your education, uh, or something like that. So when you first start the lab, you're going to open up a link that takes you to this Esri Community blog by Joseph Kierski. If you don't know Joseph Kierski, you should check out his YouTube channel. He's a really funny geo nerd. He loves maps, he loves GIS analysis, and he is contributing a lot to the geospatial community. So check it out. So anyway, you want to read this page and kind of get an idea of examples of what other people have done. Uh, with story maps to create portfolios, CVs, resumes, and show off their work. And then once you do, you can start your own story map. And I'm going to give you some tips and hints on how to make it quickly and ef effectively communicate the message that you want to people to know. One of the examples you're going to see on that Esri Community blog by Joseph Kierski is the story map by Amanda Hubert. It's a portfolio of her work in GIS. And it really is an awesome example of how this tool can be used to show off work that you've done as a student and in your professional career as well. As you can see, it starts with her name, a nice awesome photo, uh, a little kind of window of a map of where she went to school, and then goes right into her educational background, some things about her interests, this little graphic, and then she explains um, how she got started in college with geology and GIS, some more photos of her in the field, into her work experience below that, and then some selected examples of her work, such as creating web apps for um, different jobs or internships she's done with photos and kind of explanations of what the apps that she created um, did what their purpose was so we're gonna kind of walk through a few of the introductory things you can do to get something like this started and then you can go from there so to get started go to storymaps.arcgis.com and sign in using your student credentials once you're signed in you can easily click in the upper right corner to create a new story but I highly recommend that you check out some of the tutorials before you start a story. It'll give you some tips and advice and tricks to do it quickly and neatly and effectively. Um, it's a really, really helpful resource. Don't just hop in and create a story. You're going to want to see some examples of other stories and also um, easy ways to, to customize your own story. Now, I've already started an example so that I can show you. It's just a draft. It's not finished. I used to have an old story map that I completely deleted and I'm starting from scratch. But basically, you can just put your name, the subtitle, some sort of photo, and then you get started right here by just adding something like text and you can put your educational background. Or you can start with your professional background or anything that you want but it's nice to have a clean high resolution photo on top, a great subtitle, maybe something about where you are located or something that's attention grabbing, and then you can just start to add elements um, one by one. So maybe some subheaders, you can then put a video or an image or a map, anything you want. Um, look at other examples to see how to do it, but it's pretty simple. It's really customizable and really, really easy to do. I also wanted to show you a couple other examples of how you can showcase some of your work as a student or in your professional career uh, through other resources outside of your ArcGIS online account. So this is a simple blog that you can make on Blogger through Google. So if you have a Gmail, and I actually did this for my first remote sensing course in the graduate program I took last fall. And so this is showing you some examples of maps I've made for some of the labs and a little brief description. And so it's really short 
an easy way to upload an image and give examples and explanations of stuff you've done in the past. Maybe in courses, maybe on projects for work, whatever it is. But definitely a great resource and it's free if you have a Gmail account. Another great resource outside of your ArcGIS Online account to make a portfolio, CV, resume, whatever it might be, is through Google Sites. If you Again, if you have a Gmail account, you can easily select Google Sites, create one, pick the portfolio template, and you can get started just like with a story map, but a little bit more like a website and less like map oriented. Um, so here again, it's customizable. You can add imagery, text boxes. You can link past projects, videos, tables, whatever it might be. And you can also make more pages. So there's an about page. I haven't filled this out quite yet, but this is where you would put stuff like work experience, clients you've worked for, educational background, and then you can give examples of stuff you've done as far as maps or presentations, projects for work. So Google Sites is yet another awesome resource to showcase your work. But for the intents and purposes of this class, I think it's best to make an ArcGIS story map because you can publish it publicly and it's a little more oriented for something that's geospatial in nature. If you want to add maps that you've made and also embed maps into your story of maybe where you're located or a past project site or maybe even an area that you're working on for your final project, then it's really easy to incorporate that into an ArcGIS Online story map. Now, I'm not going to require you to do an ArcGIS Online story map. You can use Google Sites. You can create a blog post or find an alternative way to, to kind of showcase your work with a portfolio or make a digital CV or resume. I'm going to leave that up to you, but I do recommend choosing ArcGIS story maps just because you are able to, again, make it more geospatially oriented. Now, the last thing I will say is that I do really want to see you incorporate something map related into your story map or your portfolio, whether you do it on ArcGIS online or not. So you can do that in the form of uploading something like a static map like this one I made recently of rivers and streams in Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Um, or you can embed a interactive map through ArcGIS Storylines, and you can also embed interactive maps if you do it through Google Sites. But as you can see here, you can click or hover above a point that was added and see the attributes related to it. So add a picture, a description, something like that. You can move around the map, and on these kind of interactive maps like this, you can actually draw lines and create a whole flow of information. So make sure you incorporate something map related into your portfolio, CV, or resume, especially since in this class we're orienting it uh, towards disseminating GIS, so anything GIS related. Okay, so that's all I have for you when it comes to creating a story map of your CV, resume, or portfolio. I hope this was helpful. And good luck making something that looks good and communicates what you're about, um, your experience, and any of the cool work you want to showcase. Thanks for listening.